Hey everybody, this is Crestle Snapdragon back again with another Mix It Up Bot tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make widgets, such as your event list. If you also want to show your game queue because you're playing a game that your viewers want to join you with, I'll show you how to do that. So we're doing it all in Mix It Up Bot. In order to do this, again, you're going to need to have the Mix It Up overlay as a browser source in OBS. So you go to Services, Overlay, and you want to drop this link as a browser source in your OBS Studio. We're going to go to Overlay Widgets on the side here, Add Overlay Widget, and you have a ton of types you can choose. If you want it to overlay a chat message, you can do that here. If you want to overlay the event list, we can do that here. Images, Game Queue, Song Requests, it even has Stream Boss connected to it as well. You can do videos, web page, all sorts of stuff, but we're going to do event list because event list is the normal one people have. So it says, shows the last X many events that have occurred in your channel. They're added as they occur. We're going to go next, and we're just going to name it event list. And I want it to be in the corner all the way over on the left. And then I want it to show follows, hosts, donations, and you can also show sparks if you want to. You can choose how many you want it to show at a single time, how large you want it to be. I'm going to actually make the height just a little smaller, I think. I think we're going to go 75, and I'm going to make the width more like 300. We'll choose the font type. I've been using the Pokemon font type for all of it. We can choose how it looks. I'll do amber border color. The background I'm going to make probably deep purple maybe and the text color will be white you can choose the animation for when something comes in so we'll do bounce in and bounce out that's my preferred at least and now we're just going to save it and we're going to test it there it is okay so we are actually going to move it over a little bit move the position just a little bit from the left probably move it 50 there We're going to move it back just a little bit. Okay. And there it is. So that's the event list. So it'll show events as they occur. And now we're going to add another overlay. We'll add game queue. This is if you have a game queue, let's say you're playing Fortnite, and you want to see how many people are in your game queue. We'll say that it'll show, we'll call it the game queue. It'll show five at a time. We're going to make it smaller again. We'll choose its border color. Let's make it blue gray. I'm just picking these numbers out of nowhere, or these colors out of nowhere, to be honest. We'll do light blue. Text will be black. We'll have it bounce in, bounce out, save. And now we can test it. So it'll show who's in the game queue. Okay. So again, there's our event list. When people follow. And there's the game queue. You can add a few other widgets as well. Again, there's the chat list. You can have a goal. It shows a progress bar for a specified goal. I guess this is if you want to have a donation goal, for instance. We can make a donation goal. We're going to do donations. Goal amount, we'll say 400. And it's going to reset after 30 days. Actually, let's just say 100. It's going to reset after 30 days. We choose our progress color. Let's make it purple. Background color, let's make it, I don't know, deep orange. And text will be white. Font again is going to be Pokemon Solid. And you can also add a cool little GIF when the goal has been reached. So we'll do that later. Let's save this. And we'll obviously need to fix the dimensions here. Um, let's do more like 700 and you can change its position on the screen you probably want it at the top it 
change its position a little more. We're going to move it down and over just a little bit. There we go. We're going to move it over just a little bit more. Boom. And there's a donation goal. It's a little big, but that is how you would create it. And that's how you create the widget overlays. So just make sure you take a look at this and see what all you can do. You can do a lot. And yeah, hope that helped.